What's going on guys, Jared Sports Cards coming at you with another video today. Yes, this is a Reaction Monday video. We got the blue lights going. Um, I don't know how I look because I have a light behind the camera, but I can't see what I look like from this camera. So I could look like a lunatic right now. I have no idea. Hopefully not though. Hopefully it looks fine. What are we reacting to today? We're reacting to what's inside my sports card collection. Um, this is a channel that I've loved. Um, it's called What's Inside and they pretty much just go inside, uh, like, you know, cut into things and, and kind of show um, the insides of like objects that you maybe are curious about what they look like on the inside. Let's watch the video. This is a good book called Crushing It by our friend Gary Vaynerchuk. And over here on the wall Great is collector. a wrestling belt that we cut in half with Gary Vaynerchuk. This was a few years ago. And for the last few years on social media, Gary has been talking about sports cards. Two and a half years ago, Gary Vaynerchuk said that the sports card market is where it's at. Get into he sports did. cards, it's about to take off. And I was sitting there thinking, when I was a kid, I loved sports cards. I had tons of Ken Griffey Jr. cards, Barry Bonds, tons of mostly baseball cards, a few basketball, but mostly baseball. And I loved it, I collected all of them, but it was during the 90s and it was when the card companies produced way too many cards and so the values of them really didn't go up much. They just kept printing and printing and we kept buying. This is true, buying. junk wax era. It really wasn't worth much. Well, over the last few months, I have really gotten back into sports cards, partly because yes, it's gone up in value and it's a good investment. It's nice to have a little bit of money into something that's really cool like sports cards, but then also it's really fun. I love the NBA, I love sports. To yep. take my knowledge of sports and the things that I'm passionate about in sports and then put them together with something that is like artwork and fun and something that I can relate to, it just is a more fun investment than like- Can we just take a second, look at all those prison boxes. Holy moly. That's crazy. And like, just wow. Let's get on with it. Taking my money and buying like some company stock. Today I wanted to show you some of the things that I have right now. Some of the cards, some of the boxes, some of the packs. I've got a little safe right here that has some of my cards that I really want to keep safe. I'm gonna open it up, show you some of the sports cards that I love, and then we might even open up a pack of cards and see if we can find something inside. And no that's kind of the fun thing way about it. You he's obviously crack know that we like those. to see what's inside of things. Wow. Well, sports cards is fun because when you open packs, you're seeing what's inside of it. Yep. And sometimes it's really cool, sometimes it's not as cool. Get ready to see the collection of a 40 year old man. His sports cards. Yeah, that's me. I'm the old 40 year old man. But um, let's get into it. All right. First of all, we have this 2003 Topps Chrome Hobby Box. So this is cool. 2003, wow. 2004 season was when LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony. Let's look up the rookies. price. And LeBron James, of course, has taken over the world as far as basketball goes. He has a lot of comparisons to MJ. It's always a discussion who is better, MJ or LeBron. You can argue both ways of which one is better. LeBron still has more years left. There's a chance that he might even play with his son in a few years wow. in the NBA. Let's, let's, might get I'm a few looking. more championships with the Lakers. The value of his cards are really going up. And this is a box <laughs> that has 24 packs inside of it. $40,000 last sold. 2003, when they shipped this out, it has like a little H right here on it. 25,000, 42,000. Some of the most 22, LeBron James cards could be inside of this box. Sometimes people sell these boxes on eBay wow. and it isn't the hobby edition. It's the retail version. You can still get some good cards inside of there. 40 for the, the hobby. hobby edition is really where it's at. Wow. So this is a very valuable unopened box of cards that could or could not have a LeBron James inside of it. I don't plan on opening this. I plan on holding on to it and just having it. I think someday some collector is going to want to open this up and buy it from me. I agree. Or maybe someday I'll just open it up. I don't know, but it's really cool to have this and just to wonder what's inside of it. I have 10 of these Panini Prism 2017 Tatum. NBA now this is cool the reason why I really like this year some of the other years are more popular because they have like Luka Doncic they have Zion Williams but this year it had somebody that I really like and you're gonna see more about it later on in this video Donovan Mitchell of the Utah Jazz I live in Utah I've been a jazz fan since I was a little kid over the years like I've become a Suns fan back in the day when they had a Mark Stoudemire Steve also Nash, Tatum lived in Arizona loved the Warriors a few years ago they are so fun to watch with Steph Curry with Kevin Durant you saw us do a video with Kevin Durant so there's definitely some teams that I also do like in the NBA but at the end of the day 
Utah Jazz is the team, Stockton Malone, that I grew up with and I've really, really enjoyed. And so now that we have Donovan Mitchell there, Rudy Gobert, the team is actually really, really good. And right, actually, as of filming this video, they are the number one team in the entire NBA. And they're a little bit under the radar because a lot of people are just looking for the big name teams and the big markets. This is so true. they're not really looking at little Utah. And so Donovan Mitchell, I think, is a bit underrated when it comes to the sports card market. Each Extremely. one of these boxes could have Donovan Mitchell rookie cards. And these Prism fast break boxes also have really unique color ones, which I'll show you some of the cards in here. You guys and know I, I bought a Mitchell and flipped it. I'm kind of thinking about opening one today in this video, but let's get on to the actual safe. What is inside of here? Oh, baby. All right, my little safe. What do we have in here? First of all, we have a 2003 Topps Chrome unopened pack. Wow. There are 24 of these packs inside of this box, but uh, here's one little pack. So Jeez. very cool. Oh man, where do I start? Where do I start? Okay. This is insane. Mitchell, it's like a prism. It's rated a gem mint 9.5. So really good quality rating. You can see the number on the back, it's five out good. of 10. Really good. And it does have Especially for an actual relic. game worn jersey part of the game one jersey outside of it. I really like those. I think those are cool. It would be cooler oh, if it had an that. autograph okay, on it, but Whew. it doesn't. Check this out. This is the 2017 rookie card for Donovan Mitchell. That's, those are beautiful. And they look the same kind of. This one right here is the purple one and this one's the pink one. Those are beautiful. You can see how shiny these are and how beautiful they are. They sparkle in the light. These type of cards are inside of this box. Now these ones are pretty rare. If you look on the back, the pink, they only made 50 of this version Around 50, of this wow. card, and the purple Two they only 50 of Mitchell. of this card. So I Dangerous. do have one of each, and they are both rated a PSA 10. So that's an important thing with cards. Like, you want to get them graded. Why are they in this case? When you send them into the companies, whether it's PSA mm -hmm. or it's Beckett, this one right HDA as well. They take a look at the card and they rate all these things. Like the cool thing about Beckett is they show you the scale that they use. They look at the centering, they look at the corners, they look at the surface and they look at the edges. So they look at all of those things and based off of that, they give it an overall score. And with PSA, if you can get a 10, like both of these cards have 10s on it, that's the highest you can get with it. Beautiful. With Beckett, you can get a 10. You guys know this stuff. You can stuff. also get like a black label 10. That's like the rarest of the rare perfect card. If you can get a black label card, oh my gosh. It's like so winning the lottery. You just oh have God. the most pristine card you could ever get. But a 9.5 is not bad and a 10 is not bad at the hill over here. All right, next up, we have the 2017, again, this rookie year, Panini Contenders, Rookie of the Year, Cracked nice. Ice card of Donovan Mitchell. Ten on these are I tough because the, the foil. and the yellow on this. It's a beautiful card. And you can Color see the match. number on there. They only made 25 of these cards. This one is numbered 25, so it's the 25th one out yeah. of the 25. And what's cool is that it also is a PSA 10, so it's the highest grade Super that nice you can get with PSA. So um, I love that kind of thing when I'm collecting cards. I love to get PSA 10, highest quality, and I love to get ones that have the patches or the autographs or I just wish he had team bags like over them. Low, low it's like low low really bothering me that he doesn't have team bags like over them. Long term, that's going to hold value. Because if you go back to what I said earlier about growing up in the 90s, there was a billion cards. I have a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, and I'm like, this is going to be worth so much someday. Well, no, they printed like thousands. I don't even know how many, like say 20,000 of those Ken More. Griffey Jr. cards. So my card really isn't worth much. Well, with these ones, when I can specifically pick out ones that are low numbered, I like that. This one's the Panini Select card. Okay. More of a basic card of Donovan Mitchell, but it is his rookie and Select is a good brand. There's like two, three hundred dollars, so I think. I like this. It's Gem Mint 10, highest level. Next up. You can tell we've someone. Got the Donruss Optic Panini Red and Yellow. Good looking card. Mm. Is not you can a tell he knows one. his stuff. You can see it on the back of it. There's no number on this guy, but it is a 10, and it's a good card. Like, I kind of thought I want to But he's still a beginner in a bit. He's still a beginner, but he knows he his has. stuff. Woo! This he's more a textbook collector. Comes out of this pack, which is the fast break. That's why I have these packs, these boxes. I love these boxes because some of the coolest cards came out of it. So check this out. Oh, I'm just looking at it right now. I love it. P Panini Prism, Fast Break, wow, Prism fast break. Autograph. Woo! So... This one does have an autograph. No I'm looking disco? closely to see if it's numbered. I should know that, but I don't. It's not. Now, it's not numbered. It is a PSA 10. Short print. But they didn't put autographs on that many. Now, with sports cards, it's interesting. There's different types of autographs. There's on-card autographs, and then there's just like a sticker autograph. So he signed 
this little sticker thing and they put it on the card and sent it out. 2017 Panini Essentials, Donovan Mitchell. Again, more of a core, common rookie card, not super valuable. I, I don't even know Here if those are. Go. Donovan Mitchell. They may be a little bit over 100. Good looking card. This Love that. more basic, not super fancy, but it is a PSA Still tough 10. to 10 NBA on the, with the foil. Hoops, Panini. I have two of these. Basic these cards stuff. are interesting. So uh, these ones are definitely on the lower end as far as value goes. Yeah. Um, they made more of them. It's It was easier to get to buy the box, to buy the packs. These, when I got these, were around $100. And yeah. as of filming this right now, I think this is worth like $200, something, something like that. So yeah, like something they doubled the there. price, which is great. I think you maybe get them under 100 but maybe That's not. a good looking card. Like, it's a good way to get it's into 10, so. having some rookie cards of Donovan. This one right here. Woo! Panini Prism Mosaic. I like the mosaics. They look so good. That's like, clean. See that shiny thing? Like, they didn't really have this as much when I was a kid. Like, the super fancy card where it has like all the different colors on it there are a couple of brands that i've watched that i'm like oh my gosh that is so nice mm. so one of them is called national treasures and the other one is called flawless so there's two different brands, two high-end class and high both of them are just beautiful you buy them some of them come in like they're amazing case. i'd love to open one one day it's a little risky because they're so expensive like if just the donovan mitchell year 2017 nba if you bought one of the boxes of it it's like a briefcase wow i think they only have eight cards inside of it eight inside of the briefcase How and they go for it cost you anywhere from four thousand dollars to thirteen thousand dollars if it's like the first off the line one so you could spend thirteen thousand wow. dollars open up a briefcase with eight cards in it and it could all be even though they're like their autographs and their jerseys it could be for players that nobody wants to buy yeah you basically just burn thirteen thousand dollars brutal so Somebody spent the money on it. They got a Donovan Mitchell card in there. They sent it in for grading, got it back and sold it to me. So I bought the cards from them. This is a Donovan Mitchell National Treasure 2017 rookie year card. This one does have the patch on it. Yep. And it also has an autograph. And it is, they only made 49 of these. This is number 23, 23. out of 49. So it was graded a nine, not super fantastic. That's good because these cards are really thick. The ones with the patch in it, because yep. they have to make it thicker. So it is more difficult for them to actually grade it well because of the corners and the edges, because it's bigger. So even though it's a nine, and sometimes in like some of these other cards, that'd be a really big negative. It's still on good these to cards, get a nine. It doesn't hurt it as bad because it's it's very common knowledge that it, you're not really likely to get a 10. If you exactly. did get a 10, ooh, good job, you did it. But um, this one's a nine. And the other thing that hurts this value a little bit is it's not vertical. Like mm -hmm. I have to turn the card this way and then you kind of see what's going on. Yep. People generally don't like that as much, but still valuable card. If you look at the back of it, they do also grade the autograph. It's interesting. They look to see like if it's thin, if they like lift it up a little bit, if there's, if it's not a consistent autograph, they might grade it lower. They gave it a 10. So his autograph's legit, but yeah, it's a horizontal patch. Rookie, they call it a rookie patch auto or an RPA. Really cool. So he's he more focusing this video towards beginners, stuff, but like super cool. he is an insane and collection. I have a Donovan Mitchell of it. It's it's pretty rare. I mean, out of forty nine. So yeah, that's one of my better cards for sure. And as of right now, this is uh, my last one of Donovan Mitchell. I'm gonna take this one out of. Oh, don't! I hate when people do so this. So it's easier to see on camera. But okay. Oh baby! So I told you there's national treasures. And this is flawless. So this is flawless. This is a rookie card. It has his patch on it and it wow. has an autograph. So an RPA rookie patch auto. They only make 10, 10 of cards just <laughs> like this. Only 10. That's, this is number nine. That's insane. Not only that, I told you earlier about how it's very difficult with cards, rookie patch autos to, in order to get it the highest quality. Look at that number. That's it insane. Got a PSA 10. So as of right now, this is the only one out of all of the 10. That's at least a four digit have card. Been given a grade of a 10. No other ones have graded that oh high. Now, gosh. this is a population of one. There's only one card. And I love the color. It's like the green and white. But another thing that helps the value of these cards is the way that the actual patch is laid out. Mm -hmm. And so you can see the green, you can see the, and I think it's really pretty to see that that way. If you just on have card, it like, flawless to like 10, this one, I think all flawless it's not gonna be card, as valuable but... because it's all just one color. Right. And so sometimes they do really cool things like they get the NBA logo man and they put that on there and they'll do that like make one of those cards super valuable or else they'll get like a sponsor or a logo from their jersey and like put it in there. Those go up in value too. This one kind of more common. This one is beautiful. I love 
I think I just feel like the green and the gold together look yeah. really, really good. This is the flawless gold edition. And when the gold, they only have 10. It's not the horizontal, it's vertical. There's just so many good things going for this card that if Donovan- That's an insane card. Great player, but like you guys, if like, the Jazz make it to the finals or they you guys win in the playoffs, Let's just say, in a perfect world, they win the NBA championship and he's MVP. Okay, they won't. I but... mean, this card could go up like 10 times in value. I mean, I guess they but could. Even but even if it doesn't, he's going to play for a long time. I've got these cards. They're super cool to have. And I hold on to them for a while and enjoy them. They're beautiful cards. Okay, so he doesn't have a half million dollars, but he has, he has a significant amount. Oh, okay, well. Well, here this. we go. I'll just hold this one. Does this look familiar to you? Does it look a little bit like this right here, or like this box, or like this thing right here? Well, yeah, that's because this is a pack. Really funny, I didn't know you could do this, but you can actually send your packs like this into the grading service, into PSA. They take a look at it, they make sure that it's not tampered with, that it hasn't been opened, and then they evaluate the quality of the pack. Wow. I don't really know what the grading system is on that, but they evaluate the yeah, quality. I don't either. How do you? And this has a nine. I don't know how you this evaluate one right the quality. This right here is a ten. This one's a nine. Now there's a difference here. These both say retail on them, so these are retail packs. You have to look for that when you're looking to buy them on eBay or wherever you're buying them. The retail That's packs why the 40 are not worth 20, as much okay. as what the hobby packs are. This is a hobby pack. It is a nine, but a nine doesn't hurt you as much in the pack world as it does with the card right. world. The values of a, of a card, if you just get a nine or a 10, can be thousands of dollars, like tens of thousands of dollars difference. With the pack, really in my mind, the thing that you're getting by having a PSA graded pack is you're getting that peace of mind that, hey, this is a legitimate pack that came out of a box, it wasn't tampered with. If you just buy this off of the internet, they call it wax, but if you buy like packs off of the internet, you just don't know. Like, peep sneaky, and they can open things up. This is true. Put the cards, make, maybe swap out the LeBron James that's in there, put the other one in, seal it back up, and you don't know the difference. And you buy it, and then you open it, and you're like, well, that was a failure. And so with this, you, you know. know that you can buy it off of the internet, and you know it's most likely going to be legitimate, and maybe inside of there is that card. Mm -hmm. Because the LeBron James refractor, the card that, the most rare card that could be inside of this box right now, I'm seeing some of them listed for $500,000, $600,000. I wouldn't be surprised if that card hits a million, like seriously, a million dollars for a card that could be inside of that box. That's insane. So as the value of those mm. cards go up, then the, the value, value of the packs, packs go up, the value of this box goes up. And so he has maybe $100,000 investing. Is that as LeBron James does better, or as Donovan Mitchell does better, or becomes an all-star, or wins an MVP award, or has a huge night, the value of their cards go up. This is like the stock market for players and for sports, and it makes it really, really fun. Obviously, LeBron is an icon, whether he retires today or he plays for another five years, but Donovan's got more to prove, but his prices are also a lot cheaper. How about this? We got a couple more things. Check this out. Tyrell Crosby, we have some football cards. This is our buddy Tyrell Crosby. Crosby, he used to play for the Oregon Ducks. Now he's a starting lineman on cool, the Detroit Lions. Super great guy, really, really nice. <laughs> yes! Oh boy. Cool stuff, cool stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't give enough love to offensive linemen. He doesn't have any NFL cards. He really doesn't. Like yeah. legitimately, this is it. This is from like Senior Bowl 2018 when they gave him these little card things and he signed them. So this is the best we have. Card companies, can you do better? Can you make some cards for some offensive linemen? Quarterbacks would not be as good if they didn't have good offensive linemen. Right. Um, I think the linemen, the big guys in the trenches, just need a little more demand. love from the card company because I would definitely buy a Tyrell Crosby card. But for now, we've got this and I really like it. How about this? We have got this card. Look at this. As I go through this, tell me if you see something that looks familiar. They're all MJ. That's cool. Yeah. These are all pretty much the same card. 95, <laughs> but... This is one of my favorite cards. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy valuable. Yeah. But do I have a 10 in here? I think I've got a 10 in here. This is 1995 Michael Jordan card, and it's like a throwback to when he was a rookie. So typically the rookie cards are the most valuable. So this is not a rookie, it's 10 years later, but it's a throwback to his rookie. And the thing I love about it is this picture is amazing. Like his shoes yeah. are incredible. I mean, people are buying those shoes for so much money these days. They've recreated those shoes, the Air Jordan 1s. They're selling them everywhere. 
And this is the best picture that I've seen with him wearing those shoes. It, and so this is a really I love nice this card. card. We actually got one of Not these. Not in terms of value, like he said. In Lincoln's room, a PSA 10. Put it next to Lincoln's box of the original Jordans from way back in the 80s that he has. And it's just sitting on the shelf and we've got one. And then while he was doing that, I'm like, wow. this card is beautiful. It's like artwork. I'm just gonna go buy out like all of them. <laughs> so I have so many of these. I hope he doesn't think it's I gonna go I probably don't need all of these. They're very, they weren't super crazy expensive, but I really like them. At some point I may sell some of these because I don't need all of them. Okay. There's different kinds. You know. Like this says electric cork gold on it. There's also just the electric court where it says electric court down there. You can see that. Um, there's a little shiny thing right there. It might be kind of hard to see on camera. And then there's also another version where it's just him. It's not really the electric court. It doesn't even say yeah. electric court on there. It's just empty. So is he gonna open a box? Within this see a card, pack there's opening. three different levels. The gold is definitely the hardest to get and the hardest to find. So they didn't make very many of them, but right. we've got one or two or something like that. So yeah, I think we should open up a pack. We gotta yes. see what's inside something. You just saw what's inside of a portion of my sports card collection. We do have some other things that I'm not gonna show you off camera. Some stuff that's at PSA, some stuff that's coming to here, right. and just some other things that Every may not interest has you stuff as much, they don't or maybe we'll have. save for another day. But I'm super tempted to open one of these packs, but there's, it's not just a box. Like there's 18 packs inside mm. of here with five mm. cards in every pack. So it might, might make sense to do a different video because it's gonna take a while to open every one Let's of do a those, different video, but maybe I'll just listen to you guys. Like, do you want me to do a box break of this? Is that interesting to you? Or you're like, this is plenty I'll of react to it if stuff. it's up. I do think we should open up this pack right now. No. I did buy this off of eBay. It was not in one of these graded cases. It was just a single pack that came to me. I didn't take it out of a box. So I don't even know if this is retail or hobby. And I don't know if it's been tampered with. It do definitely doesn't look like it. It oh looks totally sealed. God. If it looked like it was tampered, I definitely would have uh, returned it and got my money back, but can we get a LeBron James card out of here? Even a Dwayne Wade would be cool. This is insane. Come year. on. Was it? Maybe. Um, Carmelo Anthony, that was his rookie year. There's even a Kobe Bryant card. It's not his rookie year, but it's, okay. it's Kobe. I mean, he's a legend. I, I know I said LeBron and MJ earlier as like the two best this is of crazy. all time, but- o three o four opening yeah, the pack the now. Woo! He's amazing. One From eBay though, so. Great guy. Um, here we go. I am terrible at opening these packs. Oh, I did it! I opened it in a good way. Okay, we're opening it. Oh my God, this is so much money. That's crazy. I'm like cringing, just got the money, not not his opening. He, need, he needs Please some work in his opening. LeBron. Here we go. Bam! Who do we have? Kenyon Martin. Kenyon Martin, he was with even. the Nuggets for a long time. Not oh, there he is on the Nets. Not even five dollars. I remember him. Okay. We've got Chauncey Billups. 25 for Chauncey? Distance. Really good. Not LeBron James. Okay, next up. Baron Davis. Man, Baron Davis did one of the coolest things. He was playing against the Jazz in the playoffs. I think he was with Golden State. And he like had this crazy dunk or something and he I can't even remember what he did, but it, it made me love him forever. No LeBron. And yet. the last no one is it LeBron James. Ooh, no. it's basketball. It's not. It's shiny. Marcy, somebody lampy. That is not LeBron James. There we go. See? Tough That's stuff. why it's tricky because this pack unopened is worth a good amount of money. Mm. This pack opened. It's worth nothing. It's not worth much money at all. So that's why I like having the boxes and yep. the, and these things because it is a gamble. And as much as I like to invest in certain things, I'm not. I don't like to gamble when the odds aren't that great. Right. But all right, guys, that is gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. This was cool, a super long video, but I love uh, what's inside. So if you're not subscribed, I'll leave the link to what's inside's channel. Down in description, you can go watch all their other videos. They make some really, really cool videos. If you stuck to the end, comment a W down below. I want to see who made it to the end. Um, who, who are the true fans here on JR Sports Charts? If you guys like this series, um, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Guys, I'll catch you for a mail day video tomorrow. Insane mail day. Peace.